Hey Matt, this is Tom McCoubrey here at Prime Mercedes-Benz and Airstream. I'm standing in front of your 2021 Airstream Atlas and I just wanted to do a uh, video tour for you of all the uh, features and options on this uh, Atlas. So we're going to walk around the outside, touch on some of the, uh, the actual features and the storage and um, you know the, the important things to know on the outside and then uh, we'll go on the inside and uh, show you how to use some of those, those features and when you come in We'll go over it more in depth. This is just to uh, help you kind of get to know it a little bit before you get here. So um, as we go around this, one thing that I definitely want to point out to you is um, all of the paint and fiberglass work that has been done on this vehicle. Um, this is a B plus, and so this started life as a cab chassis sprinter. So all of this you see back here um, is, has been hand built and fiberglassed and painted by the guys and girls out at uh, Airstream in Ohio. So one of the really cool things is all of this stuff you see all the way around here was all put on by hand and uh, fiberglass. It takes about 300 hours to do all the paint and fiberglass work to this. There are no seams on any of the corners of this uh, coach, which is very different than a lot of uh, other coaches out there right now. So um, the attention to detail on this coach is incredible. And so that's, uh, those are the types of things I want you to kind of see as we go around. So um, as we'll start going back this way, we'll see the uh, door to the actual cabin. Um, once we open that, this has a fold out set of stairs, which is really, really cool. Um, there is a switch in there to uh, keep those open. Um, so uh, when you close the door, those stay open so you don't have to wait for them uh, if you're inside the coach. But um, if they are open and you put it in drive, there is a travel warning inside so you know that you should not be driving down the road like that. Um, same with your, um, all your storage doors as well, as well as the slide out, all give that same travel warning. So next thing brings us to our passenger side storage. So under here, we do have um, actual access through the bottom or through the sides. The bottom allows you to um, run cords out. So this cabinet has some access to uh, some like TV hookups, cable, coax, uh, as well as uh, HDMI and actual plugs in there. So if you want to run a TV out here under your awning, um, you, you certainly can do that and kind of expand that living space even further. Um, and you can do that all seamlessly with this little uh, running out from underneath all of them are lit as well so you do have a light in there um, and you'll see throughout the other ones they also all have lights and next to this one we do have another little uh, cubby hole for uh, storage needs one of the cool upgrades that um, Airstream does to the uh, Atlas is when they get it from when they get the cab chassis from Mercedes-Benz, it does not come with these wheels. These are all Alcoa wheels. It's the top of the line wheel for a motor coach of this size. Um, so again, attention to detail, and they do not spare expense when it comes to these things. So uh, all Alcoas all the way around. Um, you'll see a little door right here. Um, behind here is actually your generator, your onboard diesel generator. Um, I didn't open that one up, uh, but yes, that is where your generator is under there. We pop this one open. You'll see this one actually is a uh, cabinet, as well as it has the same flooring that you see inside, um, as well as the cedar on the walls. So this actually passes through up into one of the cabinets up in the actual um, living area. So if you had like golf clubs or something tall, whether it be skis or golf clubs or chairs or anything like that, you can kind of have a uh, taller storage for them if, if necessary. And it just closes and clicks. As we're going around, you'll also see all of the, like in the front, you'll see Airstream added like a body kit to the uh, front of the Sprinter as well. Um, now, again, no seams where the, the sides and the back meet, which is uh, huge, so you don't have any of those... Um, those joints to end up leaking over time or anything like that. Back here, we you do see you have parking sensors. Those are added by Airstream. So this is um, when you're backing up, 
your rear view mirror, which I will show you, does actually give you a distance warning. So it actually tells you about how far you are from whatever you're backing up to. If you're backing up to a garage or anything like that, um, you'll see you have, have a, a warning when coming up to them. Another really nice detail, again, attention to detail is huge for Airstream. Um, they cover your tow hitch. So this actually will come off if you want to tow anything, you absolutely can. Um, but instead of actually looking at that tow hitch, um, going down the road or whatnot, they actually cover it up so you don't have to look at it and um, just tidies everything up back here really, really nicely. Another detail that um, Airstream put on these is this is all Mercedes-Benz uh, tail lights, all the lights up there. Those are all from Mercedes-Benz. They're not some travel trailer light, anything like that. That is an actual Mercedes-Benz product. So they are staying with the Mercedes quality um, that they started with on the uh, cab chassis. Um, and now as we come around to the driver's side, you will see we have all of our controls. So we have wastewater controls, water, outdoor shower, LP fill, so propane fill, um, all right through here. And then we've got more, um, uh, that's your electrical uh, shore power plug, as well as, as you see, fresh water valve, um, and those types of things. Sure. All right, now that we come back to our um, wastewater control panel here, so all we have to do to unreal this is we actually reel it out just like this, and we come over, we've got our valve here, and the valve control is over there. So whichever tank you end up dumping, you want to go black first, then your gray second, and you also have a um uh rinse valve in there too um the really really cool thing is this is on an electric um reel so unlike anything else on the market you don't have to kind of shuffle along with that uh wastewater tube what you can do to put this one away is we come in here press this and it reels it up itself just go like that it reels it up and puts it away itself which is really really handy for one of the um less enjoyable parts of camping but then we have running hot and cold water over here we have our city water inlet to fill your tanks again all of these cabinets are lit up um, we do have access from below again so if you want to run your shower outside if you want to do an outdoor shower you don't have to keep this open um, same with the water inlet. If you want to keep it hooked up, you don't have to leave this open. Um, and then over here, we do have our electrical hookups. Um, the electrical hookups, again, access to the bottom, so you don't have to leave your, your door open. All of these, as I'll show you, just shut. And then when you uh, put it in drive or you lock it, it actually locks those and they stay locked so you don't have any issues opening but you also don't have latches on the side of the doors so uh, one thing I like to point out over here we do have our exhaust for our generator so it is a nice chrome tip to match all of the other chrome around the vehicle and as you'll see we do have the slide out open and one of our two storage uh, cabinets underneath the slide open as well Really cool thing Airstream did with this slide and the storage underneath is they actually attach the storage to the slide as opposed to being under there. So if your slide is out, and you can see from the side here, you can see the, um, the storage bin. <coughs> when you move the slide out, the cabinets come with it. So you, if your slide is out, you do not have to climb under there and actually try to get to your uh, whatever you have stored under there. Again, two more storage bins out here. If you look under there, they are actually connected and lit up. So more lights and more storage for longer things if needed. I'll shut that. And again, you just shut it and it closes. Um, one really cool thing about the paint I would want to touch on as well is this is all actual paint. These aren't stickers. So this has been... Um, painted and I believe there's 15 coats of paint and clear coat on this thing 
So it is incredible attention to detail on the paint job here and uh, long lasting paint as well. So as we come around to the front here, one cool thing I like to show people is you do have really nice lights. So if it's dark out getting in here, it is lit up in there again, added by Airstream. Your diesel fuel filler is actually behind the door. So when you shut your door and lock it, your fuel is actually locked up as well. And I'll close this. We'll touch on all the interior stuff once we go in there. And again, Alcoa's, as we walk around the front, this is all Airstream edition with that body kit. And as you can see, they add the Airstream logo directly to the left of the license plate. Other things to touch on on the outside of the vehicle, hard to see from where we're standing, obviously, but is uh, there is solar on the roof. So you do have uh, solar that charges the batteries as well as you can obviously use your um, shore power and or generators if necessary but solar will help as well uh, you do have pre-wiring for uh, wi-fi through airstream if you uh, if you so choose to get that um, as well anytime they can uh, install that and uh, so i think now we can kind of go inside and check out some of the uh, interior features all right now that we're inside the coach we can kind of go over how everything runs in here. So the first thing I want to touch on is the Airstream Multiplex system. So you will see these little uh, touch screens all throughout the coach. This is the largest and um, it's right up front, right as you enter the, uh, the coach. Um, as you can see, you do still have um, warnings, so you don't like take off or anything. This one's telling you slide is out. So obviously you don't want to jump in the driver's seat and take off. But uh, this is the home screen, kind of gives you an overall view of everything. Um, so all your tank systems are right here, all your tank monitoring systems are right there. So you have fresh gray, black, and then your LP, uh, propane. You also can turn on your um, tank heaters, your water pump, auto fill, all that stuff right from here. Um, generator, so this is the house battery, chassis battery and then your generator start stop so you can just start it uh, from right here stop it right here you don't have to get outside the coach um, then we have a shortcut to turn all the lights on all the lights off so we hit off everything shuts off and that's every light in here um, then we also have like dimming switches if we just want it a little bit uh, a little bit more dim in here even dimmer there's a cinema setting which will actually shut your shades open your tv um, and dim the lights all at the same time. And that's what that button does. This is for your awning. Um, I didn't open it on the outside yet. Um, at the end of the video, uh, I'll open it for you. We can take a look at that. That is a seismic sensing awning. Um, essentially what that does is if it gets too windy, say you have it open at a campground or wherever you're camped and it gets windy, instead of it um, just flapping around and possibly damaging, what it will do is it actually um, sense the fact that it's bouncing around and actually pull itself back in. So that's why they get the name seismic sensing. Um, and then right below the awning controls, we have our temperature controls. As you can see, it's not on right now, but that is how you um, just quickly turn the temperature up and down. Um, and then as we go through here, you'll see we have all the lights and we can control all the lights individually whether it be the one in the galley, the one in the shower, um, the main ceiling lights, um, the slide ceiling lights, which are uh, over underneath um, where the bed comes out. So if we do that, see how those ones turn off and turn back on, as well as our aisle lights. Um, then we also have our patio and awning light, um, which when you turn your master lights on, those don't come off on. Those are the lights outside. Obviously, if you're turning all your lights on, you don't want the ones outside turned on right away if you're just kind of lounging around inside your cabin here. But you can, right, turn them on, patio, undercarriage, so there's, it is lit up underneath here, as well as the handle, handle for the door. Um, then we come down, here's all of our um, electrical system. 
uh, information. Uh, there's a lot to go through here, so when you come in, I can go through some of this stuff with you. Um, and then uh, just to go back, we hit the home button. And we get into your climate control. So right now it's on auto, um, but we don't have it actually turned on. So if I hit either the heat pump or furnace and set this, as you can see, 69, 70, you can turn it up and down. And then you can set it uh, high or low, however you want that to come out. We have the heating vents throughout. Um, now we have all of our shades. The shade button also controls the auxiliary um, features. So you've got um, all your shades, entertainment window shades behind the TV. I'll show you that in a minute, um, as well as your slide out shade. When I put the bed down, I can show you the slide out. Um, over here um, on the auxiliary side, we have the slide out. That's your control to open that slide. Um, all you do is you press and hold, and it will close and open as, uh, as you see fit. Um, one really cool thing, which I will go over again, is that when this is fully closed, you can still use your bed. And I'll show you both in and out the bed down um, and the maneuverability, how it changes. Um, your awning control is here again. Um, then we have a skylight open and close. Our skylight is actually right here, which is really cool. So if we open that, it actually is open air. Um, so for that reason, we do actually have a sunshade. So if you don't want that amount of light coming in here, and a bug shade so if you have that open all the way you want fresh air in here not not too hot you can have that um, open and have the bug shade open so keep the bugs out and then the last um, feature on the um, auxiliary shade uh, menu is your tv lift which is uh, right behind us right now the tv is up we'll go over some of the tv stuff here in a minute as well and the last one in the uh, multiplex system, like I said, this is the most in-depth, largest screen in here. I'll show you the other ones. Um, this is just the easiest one to show you on. Um, just your settings, right? How bright your screen is, auto dimming, all that stuff, cleaning, uh, the time, as well as uh, what you have as an atlas and your units. So I'm gonna set that back to uh, home and then we're kind of move around here. So right next to it, we have a huge storage cut cabinet up here. Um, you'll see you've got some HDMI. You have an HDMI cord, two HDMI cords, and a coax cable. You've got some plugs to the uh, to the right, as well as a light in there um, to see. And uh, any more storage that, uh, needs you might have. But yeah, it's, everything's all carpeted. You'll see in all the cabinets, um, everything is carpeted dampens sound as well as keeps all your stuff nice and not rattling around um, when in motion so close this and everything locks with these locks um, these hinges are nice and sturdy they're, they're a, a nice little pull on them but just for an extra uh, security so they don't fly open while going down the road they do all lock and that's on everything um, we have a little storage cabinet here to the left of the um, storage cu uh, cubby and then if we drop down to the left of it you actually get your second touch screen so if you're in bed you have a touch screen right next to the bed which is right behind the driver's seat as well as some plugs underneath that so if you have need for laptops or whatnot that have a uh, have a traditional style three-prong plug you can plug them in there um, and then um, that brings us to the couch. Um, so this, everything in here is upholstered in the modern Grige um, decor. So this is the modern Grige uh, ultra leather. Uh, you'll see it here in the uh, coach as well as the uh, up front. They reupholstered the um, front seats in that same ultra leather. Um, the boxes here do come with you. It's uh, some more... Uh, shades and uh, accessories or whatnot so one thing i like to show you over here on the couch um, i'll back up and open these so these come off just with velcro it's a nice sturdy velcro so if we push that back you actually do have a cup holder on both sides and then up here we do have recliners so there's a little switch on the side 
and this actually does recline out and reclines out fully um, you can also lay the bed down uh, or lay the sofa down so the back will recline as well you do have two buckles um, and on the side here hard to see I'll pull this off make it a little bit easier the switch and two, SU, two USB port uh, chargers so whether you're on the couch and uh, relaxing want to charge your phone or an iPad or anything like that you have the access or if uh, you want to charge your phone or whatnot when you're uh, in bed again bed laid down you'll still have some access to that um, so on that side of the couch on the far side uh, or the driver's side I should say the front same thing We've got a couple more controls up here to look at um, this one the front switch will actually lay that down as well so I'll, I'll get out of the way so the uh, camera person can see that um, you'll see that there are um, the front switch is how I just reclined that and that is how we lay it down completely flat to make the bed so if we do this this lays down all the way like that take this off set that there and I'll trade places with the camera and then there's a little lock back here that I'll point out so with these handles these handles kind of hide away so you can do this one person can do this by themselves um, there's a little lock right here we unlatch it and the bed comes down these are travel straps so they don't uh, don't go anywhere um, and then this comes down and so the pillows don't go anywhere so you do have lights underneath there reading lights with USB um, capability of uh, charging as well right in the front we have some storage so if you throw your glasses or your um, books or whatnot your uh, phones anything like that um, right there conveniently we have the overhead ceiling lights then we have that shade and window I was talking about so I can open that up so you can take a look at that so all automatic you can do that from any of these so you can actually let some light in over the bed as well if you would like those shades or those windows also open so I'm gonna close that again and then to put all this back up we just come back over here and we lift this up and we just grab the latch grab the bed and fold it forward one thing I do want to show you before I put this away is clo closing the slide and showing you that you can leave this completely open with the slide closed um, which is important if you're somewhere where you can't uh, extend the slide but you can still actually camp or and or sleep um, comfortably so we'll do that right now so I just come over to the auxiliary settings on our multiplex system press and hold and it does close you do still have your full bed here now this is what I was talking about with the uh, mobility it is a little bit tougher you can't get around it you will have to climb over the bed but in those uh, few instances where you are gonna you may need to uh, sleep where you can't extend fully this allows you to do that um, so I'm gonna open this back up so we can maneuver around again all right so directly to the right of the multiplex system up front I did want to show you um, this little cabinet here um, this gives you a lot of your control of all your power control system or unit so that's all your solar electrical same thing right below it that's another um, I believe that is for the um, solar charge um, then we have the MPPT controller charge controller right there under here we have um, so this this coach is um, equipped with lithium iron batteries um, so when it is colder than 30 degrees 32 degrees like it is today um, they will work and discharge just fine but if you're trying to charge them you do need, they do need to have the heater on so that's what that is right there it's a battery heater so you turn that on it allows you to charge uh, heat the batteries so that they'll actually take the charge um, so if uh, if left 
on, there is a little bit of a parasitic draw, so if you're not charging them and that is left on, it will draw some of the power, but not a ton. Um, so just something to keep in mind, but that is what that does. Those um, keys in there are to turn that on so we actually have that heater. Um, then we have tank monitoring system, kind of like a backup to the screen, just in case um, you, know, you wanna have the more analog style. Um, then we have the Cummins, so the uh, battery as well as your tank monitorings right here. Right below that is your um, diesel generator um, control, so you can control it from the multiplex system or you can control it right here. We do have equalizer uh, jacks on this, so you can actually turn those on and extend them if you'd like. Um, or then you hit retract and they'll come right back up, turn them off. Over here, you have a backup uh, for the uh, slide retractor system as well. So uh, you can just hit this. So if you, you'd rather the switch versus the actual um, touchscreen, you can do a lot of your uh, same things right from in here. Wanted to touch on that real quick. Then we'll lock that. So this is the door we came through to get into the coach. Um, Really cool things with this is you do have a shade right here. So block out some of that light. Um, you have a handle to get in and out. So if you uh, need a little bit more stability, whatnot, uh, and, or some of your guests may need more, you have a handle right here. Really cool feature on this is we actually have a screen door. So you can leave that open to the elements so that you, know, you can get that fresh air in, open the sk uh, skylight, get the uh, cross breeze going without having to let some bugs in. So that is a really cool little feature that hides away, tucks away neatly right there. Um, we have the door locks. Those are pretty straightforward. On the side of the TV stand, we actually have your step hold, which I'm gonna turn on, um, as well as the um, button for your TV lift. So the TV will come up and down if we hit this button. Also controlled by the multiplex system and then the main disconnect for the batteries. So if I hit that, all everything will shut off. Uh, we don't want to do that for the purposes of the video, but uh, that is how you turn all, um, or disconnect everything. So um, next thing I want to point out is the TV. I will show you it go down. So you just tap the button in the multiplex system and it goes down. Um, and it will hide away completely, which is uh, really cool. So when we're traveling down the road, you don't need uh, don't need that open, put it down. Um, you'll see it tucks everything right away very nicely. Just like that. Um, I'll bring it back up just to show you again. Um, that is a large TV, pretty, uh, pretty large. I don't know the exact dimensions. It looks like it's probably in the 40 inch range with a uh, Bose soundbar, sounds phenomenal. Um, you can do satellite, you also can do streaming um, with any, any of the streaming services. Um, allows you to get, uh, get what you need. And with those HDMI and cable hookups, depending on where you're staying, cable hookups, you can have campground cable or along, something along those lines, or um, HDMI if you have DVDs or video games or any of that stuff, you can hook them up right through there. Um, above the TV, we've got two more really nice cabinets, uh, carpeted, also pass-through. So if you got something longer that needs to go up there, you certainly can. Um, you know, the back wall is all finished as well and padded in this nice fabric. Um, things to the point, uh, like the attention to detail that I was talking, on, talking about on the outside. These overbuilt hinges, these things are meant to last. So you'll see they are, they are a little bit of a pull. But that's that's for a reason, so they don't, uh, in, you know, five, ten years from now, they're not just uh, flapping around. You know, they're built to last a long time. Um, so again, closes, and it's a it's a nice snug fit. And you press this lock, and it latches and locks, so you don't have to worry about um, that coming open while you're going down the road. You close this one as well. Same thing. Really cool, you have lighting all the way around, so you do have lighting above the cabinets as well as underneath the cabinets. Um, so there's a lot of lighting, they hide it really well in here, it gives you a lot of ambient lighting. You'll see all the way around the cabinetry underneath, 
the underneath the cabinet for the um, the TV, as well as you'll see floor level lighting throughout the uh, coach as well. Um, right over here we have some more storage and uh, some more hookups for different things. Now as we get back to the galley, I'll uh, touch on some of these. So starting over here, we do have this nice um, Corian style counter countertop. Um, they have tried to make, uh, Airstream has tried to give you the most amount of counter space possible. So they do have this nice little insert to your stainless steel deep sink. Also, this pulls out. So if you have, you know, you want to spray stuff down or whatnot, you can do that. Um, that's a really nice touch. And if you don't need your sink right then, you can kind of turn that out of the way and use this while cooking. Um, over here, we have a nice hidden trash can so if you're cutting stuff up chopping stuff you can just kind of throw away what you don't need right behind the sink and uh, trash can we do have a nice window that you can open that does open and you also have a shade that opens we do have a nightshade right there as well we have some under cabinet lighting as well as, um, again, another cab uh, carpeted cabinet. Um, really cool, they actually continue this black backsplash all the way up into the cabinet. So you got um, the same backsplash in both, which is, again, really nice attention to detail. We'll close that. Again, more lighting above the cabinetry, just for, you know, uh, that nice ambient lighting. Um, another multiplex touchscreen. Um, anything you can control from that front one, right up here as well. So if you're in the kitchen, you need to, you know, turn off some of the lights, turn on some of the lights, whatever. Turn the heat up. You can do that all from right here. Um, right above it, you actually have some more plugs. So if you have um, kitchen appliances that may need a, a traditional style of plug, you have it right there. Then we have a Dometic two burner. Uh, liquid propane uh, stove, so we can cook in here. Um, you know, throw the water, do whatever you need. Um, we're right there, and then also that being open, blocks and splatter while cooking. Against uh, you don't want to get it all over your uh, walls here. Underneath the sink, we actually have a um, a little tilt-out cabinet that uh, place for your sponges and whatnot cleaning. Uh, lock that one and then we have a nice big drawer um, for storage and then actual cabinet for storage pots and pans or whatnot in there and they do click closed like that um, and then underneath the stove we have an extension um, again same countertop as above it uh, just gives you a little bit more counter space um, allows you to you know, put stuff over here, prep food or whatnot, and let you keep on going. We've got some more storage. Obviously, this one is uh, where Airstream uh, suggests you put all your um, silverware. It comes with a nice silverware container as well. All in the same um, materials as the drawers. We've got more drawers here and another down here. Then on the other side, we brings us to our convection um, microwave over here, uh, opens up and this absolutely huge refrigerator um, on top you see plenty of storage for your camping needs um, adjustable for whatever you end up needing then it has this little travel lock so going down the road that doesn't open 
Freezer, same thing. A little travel lock. Turn it. And now you actually have a pretty large freezer for a camper. That is a, uh, a huge, huge freezer. Um, you know, ice cream, making ice, any of those types of things. Certainly have room for it in there. Close that. Lock it. One of the really cool features of this galley is actually a pantry. It's a built-in pantry, so all your spices, canned goods, any of those types of things fit right in here really nicely um, and for whatever other uses you might find for it. That clicks and locks, and we have one more nice little storage space up there where you'll see plenty of room, really, really deep cabinets in here. Then that brings us to um, a huge feature of this uh, touring coach. It's the bathroom. I'm going to get out of the uh, camera's way here so you can get a better look at it. Um, but one of the first things I want to point out is this door that does slide and close. There's a lock down here by your foot. Um, you can just pick it up and close. And it magnetic magnetic lock right there. So it does actually... Um, seal itself when it shuts. So I'm going to trade places with the camera and go over the uh, bathroom. Alright, now that you're in the bathroom, I'm going to go over um, some of the uh, cabinetry and storage space in here. So first, I'm going to start with the biggest cabinet we have in the whole coach, which is right here. We've got some hanging uh, storage if you need it, as well as some shelves. You'll see you've got some throw pillows and things like that in there as well. Um, to uh, help dress it up a little bit more than it already is. Really cool, fancy stuff. And in here we have um, some drawers for more storage. Two sets here. Really, really deep. Uh, great for, you know, either blankets or, um, you know, pants, clothes, things like that. That one back there is... Um, a nice cedar line closet as well. That one is, uh, if you remember from the beginning of the video, I said that they you could pass things through there. Um, that bottom shelf can be moved, um, and you can it goes right down through, all the way, uh, to the outside storage. Um, as we go around, you pan around, you'll see another control unit right there. Again, can control anything you saw up front. Uh, can be controlled right here from the bathroom. Really cool feature in here. You do have a full-size medicine cabinet. As you can see, I'm standing behind the camera. Um, you can open that up and see you have a medicine cabinet in there. Nice storage for all your toiletries and uh, whatnot. Then right below that, beside the sink, we have a plug. So if you do have things that uh, require a plug, like toothbrushes or whatnot that need to be charged, um, you can do it right there, as well as a stainless steel sink. You'll see um, throughout the ceiling, these touches right here in front of the uh, sink, uh, all that aluminum kind of a uh, pays homage to the uh, trailers that Airstream is so famous for. Um, now we'll see more storage here underneath the sink. Um, again, they're trying to use every inch of this as possible, so give you as much storage as possible. Um, and again, same hinges, uh, those overbuilt hinges to last a lifetime of use, as well as all the locking mechanisms there as well. Um, again, really nice lighting touches here in the bathroom. You'll see your shower on both sides is lit up, as well as all the recessed LEDs in the roof there. Um, so this shower uh, does just unlatch from right here. We just pull this up, and then this slides open like that. This slides open like that, and you do have a nice shower, nice wood accent in there um, with a handheld shower head, place for all your uh, soaps and stuff like that in the middle there. Um, you'll see the uh, red fluid on the floor there. This is uh, the uh, winterization fluid we use, um, came from Airstream, winterized. I did want to get this video to you as soon as possible. That will all be uh, cleaned up. Um, by the time you take delivery. Um, then another nice uh, exhaust fan, vent fan, so when taking a nice hot shower in here, you do have some ventilation to get that steam out. 
Um, and then over the uh, bathroom, the toilet here, we actually have more storage. Um, and then right below that, a towel rack. Um, again, all that nice aluminum uh, finish to keep everything nice and clean. And like I said, bring it back to the uh, trailers that Airstream is so famous for. Then we have a uh, our toilet here. It is a pedal uh, operated toilet and you do have the hose there behind it. Um, and we also have the uh, toilet paper holder right there. Um, you'll see that lock that I used when you were on the other side right there. You lift that up and can just uh, shut the door and have a nice private bathroom all to yourself. So you do have um, a nice dry bath in this unit. And then we just press that down and it locks in place for travel down the road. So that touches on most of the uh, features here in the coach. I'll go over this all again with you when you come for delivery. Um, the thing, the next thing I want to touch on is the Mercedes, um, the updated Mercedes cockpit of this unit, and uh, we'll jump up there next. All right, now that we're up front in the um, brand new Mercedes redesigned um, cockpit of this Atlas, I'm gonna go over some of the uh, options and features that uh, Airstream has put on this. Um, when Airstream orders the sprinters from Mercedes. They get as all of they check all the boxes, um, all the options. They they try to get as many as possible. Um, all that are available, all the co creature comforts, all that is uh, is on here. So I'm gonna go start from the uh, driver's side door and kind of work my way around and kind of touch on some of those features. So starting over here on the driver's side door. Um, one thing the Airstream does, they also add, you'll see this like silver plastic here. So you'll see that and it actually flows through. All this is Airstream. They added all this stuff um, to kind of make a cohesive uh, feeling vehicle from the outside to the inside. Um, but right inside of that silver um, is your automatic windows um, and then your automatic uh, mirrors as well. So you do have power mirrors. Um, that are, are all power adjustable. Right below that we actually have our power seat controls. So these are memory and power seats uh, as well as heated and your door locks are right there. Really cool. Um, so there's only two seats, three memories. Um, these seats swivel around so you can face that way. Uh, so if you have some extra seating for guests or whatnot. Um, so if you have two drivers um, we suggest putting uh, the one memory one and two as the two drivers and then the vice versa as in the uh, passenger seat. And then that third one, um, what we suggest is actually having the seat all the way forward. It actually or more close to the steering wheel than you normally would in driving situations. And that makes it actually easier for you to turn this around. So all you have to do is hit that third button and it will actually push you forward and so you don't have to sit there and hold the uh, seat adjustment. Just a nice little feature that uh, Airstream adds on these. Um, moving to the, the dash over here right in front of the door locks. Um, we have our automatic headlights as well as our fog lights and our instrument panel brightness um, controls. Those are all over here to the left side of the steering wheel. Right behind the steering wheel we have our um, blinker stock which also gives you your um, high beams if you press away or if you want to flash your high beams pull it towards you. Uh, right now it's bright enough out where we don't really the lights aren't on so the uh, high beams don't turn on because um, the lights aren't on. Um, and then we also have our automatic wipers so all the way down the first setting is off and then if we click it to the first setting you'll see the wipers just went and then they won't go again until uh, the windshield gets wet. Um, another cool thing about this windshield I want to point out is this is actually a heated windshield. Um, probably can't pick it up on the camera, but you'll, uh, you'll see once you get in here, there's very, very, very thin little uh, filament that goes through that. Um, hard to see, but uh, it actually is a heated windshield. So, um, you know, if you've got snow or fog or uh, on there, you can just hit the heated windshield. Gets rid of that pretty easy. Um, 
back to the steering wheel uh, directly behind the steering wheel actually attached to the steering wheel you see the move with the steering wheel is your uh, gear selectors so your manual gear selecting so if you want if you're going downhill and you don't want to uh, use your brakes you want an engine brake or uh, you know you want to speed up real fast and you want to downshift um, that's what these paddle shifters are for so you've got a minus on the left and a plus on the right so you can uh, you can paddle shift if you want um, and that's on both sides behind the steering wheel on the actual steering wheel itself on the left side we have our controls for there's a color screen here in the center right between your gauges and this uh, we have a home or back button on the left, a mouse pad in the center, and then the control for the uh, cruise control, which I'll touch on in just a second, right on the right. So we can scroll through here, see our radio stations, um, our phone. Uh, if you're playing media through there, uh, through the radio, you can see it through there. Driver's assistance options as well as service, all right through the center here, uh, and all controlled without ever taking your hands off the wheel. So we'll just keep that on trip, as well as um, in like your trip, for example, your trip meter, um, you get your traditional uh, trip meter, but then if you start swiping, you'll get these other gauges, which gives you like range, uh, fuel economy, uh, information, and uh, a big speedometer if you want it. Um, then um, if we go over to the right side, like I said, it's cruise control. So, um, so we turn on the cruise control. This vehicle, one of the really cool options Airstream does get on these is uh, Destronic. Um, so Mercedes Destronic system is an adaptive cruise control system. Um, so what happens is you have this set at 70 miles an hour going down the highway and someone in front of you is doing 65. The van, the, the touring coach is actually going to slow itself down um, without you touching the, the brakes. Um, and actually hold a distance that you set with this button over here uh, right below the on off switch you have a distance button that uh, it's like a rocker switch that you can set uh, to follow the car in front of you right below that distance or right beside to the left I should say is how you set the speed that you want to go and it's a rocker switch the same thing and you can go up and down uh, right from there and then you've got your resume and cancel on the far left for your cruise control all right, on the right side of the steering wheel, we have all the controls for our MBUX system here in the middle, um, as well as your phone and voice command uh, button. So you can actually access the voice command by either this uh, rocker switch by pushing it up or actually saying, hey, Mercedes, um, or just Mercedes itself. And um, as you'll see, it does pop up on the screen right there. And you can actually ask it to navigate to a location, change the radio station, those types of things. A um, couple other things. Uh, your is a keyless system here. So uh, push button start. And actually this flashing red light down here, that's that travel warning that I was talking about. So this is important because uh, we do have it in. See how you hear all those alarms now? Those are travel warning alarms. We have the slide out. We have... Um, you know things on so it does not want you to go anywhere if you hear that something's still open or something's still on um, that shouldn't be so uh, and then this is a flashing light so once we sh shut the uh, slide in and uh, make sure everything else is buttoned up like it should be that'll turn off and we're good to go uh, now we move over to the MBUX system this is a full touch screen so we can just slide around just like you would a smartphone if you go over to the radio section Turn it down so we don't hear any static. Uh, you've got FM as well as XM. And um, turn that down again. Um, you see the volume right there in the middle as well as your hard keys for a lot of these um, different menus in here. So like the uh, navigation, the telephone, uh, radio, um, as well as the home and back. You can actually mute the screen or turn it off from right there. Uh, this is the skip button as well as a vehicle settings button brings you over here. Uh, part of that Distronic you'll see right here uh, is a lane keep. So it'll tell you if you get out of your lane going down the road. Uh, and if you don't like that, you can turn it off just by hitting that button and it goes off. Um, and then you go back to home, brings you right back to your normal screen. 
One thing uh, I want to point out behind this is actually this little storage bin back here. Um, part of this MBUX system is um, Apple CarPlay. So if you see this little diagram here, you plug your phone in here, you'll have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, um, as well as it'll charge your phone. Um, then you have two more USB Type-C con uh, connections there, as well as a 12-volt uh, style uh, charger port there and then an actual wireless charging pad. So this is a charging pad, so if your phone is capable, you can throw your phone on there and it'll start charging. A um, bunch more storage up front there on either side, as well as some cup holders. Um, now, if we go down below the MBUX system, you'll see the climate controls, which are pretty straightforward. Uh, we, it's a cold day, so we do have the heat cranked in here. But you'll see, it's just a rocker switch, turns temperature up and down. And then the fan switch is there, and then you, you've got your auto button, AC, your directional, you'll see it change in there. Um, and then hazards, uh, defrost, recirculation, and then your heated windshield right there. Uh, more cup holders up front here. Um, again, uh, another piece that uh, Airstream put on there um, to uh, really make it look and nice and dress it up. Uh, another really cool feature that Airstream put in here is this screen. I'm going to turn it your way. That is an, a, a rear view mirror that is always on. So the bathroom is where your rear window would be if this were a traditional van. So you can't see out it. So going down the road, you want to be able to see what's going on behind you. Um, you know, if emergency vehicles are coming up behind you, you want to get out of their way, you'll be able to see it there. So one really cool thing is if we turn the blinker on, it actually shows the left side of the van. So that's the slide outside, so that's why you see the slide. If that was in, you'd actually see straight down the side of the vehicle. Um, now if we do the right side, it'll switch over. And see how you can see straight down the side of the vehicle. So changing lanes, blind spots, all covered right by that screen right there. And then once the blinker comes off, takes a second goes right back to your rear view so you always have a mirror on or your mirror is always on always have that uh, view out back there up here we have all of our light controls right you're reading your map lights your reading lights um, this will turn off all your lights so when your doors are open uh, just in case someone leaves the door open it doesn't drain your battery um, and then your actual rear lights light another map light Got an SOS button up here, so if accident or anything like that, you are connected, you can uh, hit that and um, call for help. And then we have a sunglass holder up here. And then um, auxiliary radio that uh, Airstream puts in, um, and then some storage above either visor. Um, and that kind of touches on the majority of the features there are still there's still more to cover so when you come in we'll go over all that but um, this is the 21 uh, Airstream Atlas so I look forward to uh, having you come in deliver this vehicle to you if you have any questions or anything before you get here give me a shout my number is 207-510-2286 thanks